Hi Lux for Less family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanisha. If you're new, this channel is called Lux Living for Less. And on this channel, we talk about all the ways you can live a fabulous lifestyle on a for less budget. Today is Thursday, July 20th. It's the end of my work day. And I wanted to um, show you the things that I purchased from Amazon Prime. You remember in the last video, I showed you some things I purchased before Prime and I said, I wish I would have waited. Well, I did go back on Amazon Prime and do some shopping. So let me show you what I got. All right, the first thing I got are these Apple AirTags. And you remember in the last vlog, I showed you the Apple AirTag holders where these are, um, these are the actual AirTags. And these are, um, for lack of a better way to explain it, these are like GPS tracking devices. You can use them for your luggage. You can use these really for just about anything, but most people use AirTags for their luggage because if your luggage is lost, you can track your luggage by placing um, an AirTag inside of your luggage and then you can track it on your cell phone. So got these four pack of Apple Air tags. Now these are regularly priced at $99, but on Prime Day they were $88. Um and the air tag holder is just to fit like it is it works kind of like a keychain. So you can carry them comfortably and know where they are. I'm trying to open it so I can show you all what they look like. Oh man. All right, so these are what the air tags look like. They're just little, small, little, you know, little things. <laughs> um, like I said, they go inside of your um, luggage. At least that's what I'm going to use them for. And um, if your luggage is lost, which I hope luggage is never lost, but, you know, airlines are known for making mistake mistakes but this is a good way to track it but i would recommend these if you are traveling whether internationally or domestic and um put these in your luggage and you can definitely keep track of where it is but got these from amazon for 88 dollars during prime day like i said regular price is about 99 dollars, and i mean you still may be able to find them on sale somewhere i just got it on sale during prime day but that's the first thing i got all right second thing i got is this um brush nickel toilet paper holder and this is a no drill toilet paper holder and i needed one because my toilet paper holder in my master bathroom um it, just, it was just old y'all and the screws came loose and i just decided not to put it back because i wanted something more modern um these are all of the finishes in my master bathroom anyway so I ordered this from Amazon and like I said, it's no drill. It sticks by 3M and this was only $7.99, I believe, but it's a brush nickel and got this no drill toilet paper holder from Amazon. All right, the next thing I got is this wide angle lens. This is compatible for the Sony ZV-1 and a little bit of a backstory. My son <laughs> told my husband and I that he wanted to start a YouTube channel and he wanted to do all the things, right? So we, one Christmas, invested in his YouTube aspirations and purchased him a MacBook Pro. We purchased him a Sony ZV-1. Here it is right here. We purchased him the tripod kit that went along with it. And we purchased him um, a starter HD SD card. Needless to say, he never used it. So I said, okay, well, let me start using the camera. So, so what I did was I purchased this wide angle lens to go on the camera because now I'm going to start using it. This was, I believe, on sale for $30 when I purchased it, but got this from Amazon to go with the camera. All right, the next item that I purchased, um, I don't have it to show because it's downstairs in the utility closet, but I purchased a cordless vacuum now several vlogs back you all saw me um where i purchased a irobot from amazon and i said i sent it back because when i got it it looked like it had been used they sent me a, a used um irobot vacuum when i paid for a new one i went back and looked at my order y'all to make sure it didn't say refurbished and it didn't so they sent me a used one of course i sent it back i went to bath and body works to try to purchase one because they were going out of business they were still way too high so needless to say i never ended up with the irobot y'all know i have those um porcelain 
marble looking floors that were installed and child they are white and they show everything so we are constantly sweeping constantly cleaning them to keep them clean well on prime day amazon had a eureka cordless vac it was regular price i believe 150 or something like that and they had it on prime for 89 dollars. and you know the cordless vacs it detaches the top of it detaches well that is perfect for me because y'all know i have those black stairs and just like the white floors those black those black stairs show everything so we are constantly dusting those stairs sweeping them wiping them down but because it's the bridge to the top and the bottom half of the floor so of course it's going to get the most traffic and they stay like you you really have to stay on top of keeping them clean all the time anyway i said all that to say instead of me investing in another irobot i got the cordless vacuum that is good for hard um surfaces hard and wood surfaces so and the top of it detaches so i'm able to um vacuum my tile floors downstairs and then detach the top of it and use that to keep my stairs clean i still probably at some point may invest in an irobot i'm not really sure which is want to see how this works first but that is another thing that i purchased from the amazon. next thing i purchased from amazon is also downstairs this is a new cutlery set um now this is the one that's in the acrylic case the one i had before was in like a butcher block and for some reason y'all between my husband and my son every single uh cutlery set that i have purchased between those two they have lost half of the the steak knives that come with it and neither of them knows where they went because they both are saying i didn't do it so i purchased me a new cutlery set it's in the acrylic case it's the one that looks like it's spanning it's really really nice i really like it i gave them specific instructions do not touch my knives i have a knife drawer if you need a knife get one out of there i don't care if you lose it i don't care what you do with it but do not touch these knives these were on sale i believe for $38, $35, something like that. I purchased from Amazon, but I really do like them. So far, it's a nice addition to the kitchen. They have not touched them. These come with a cheese cutter, a pizza cutter, um, a butcher knife, a grater, a peeler, kitchen shears, and then, you know, just the regular assortment of steak knives. But All right, the last thing I purchased from Amazon during Prime Day were some compression socks my sorority sister told me to get um some compression socks because when you're traveling your 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 legs naturally have a tendency to swell so compression socks will aid with that um because it keeps your legs compressed and keeps the blood circulating as it should so i got these from amazon these were fairly inexpensive if i'm not mistaken maybe 15 dollars during prime day but those are all the purchases i made during prime day i'll be sure to link everything below if you're interested now i'm going to wind down for the rest of the day i'll see you guys later Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Friday, TGIF. Today is Friday, July 21st. I'm here at Florida Juice and Bowl. I was craving one this morning, so I said, let me get up and go ahead and get one before I start my work day. I always get the same thing. I get the acai bowl with a thick acai base um, with light apple juice because I like my acai thick. And then I get it topped with blueberries, pineapples, and kiwi, granola, no coconut. And I get it topped with honey. Although I think next time I get one, I'm going to get it topped with agave. See how I like it. I probably will. I've had agave before. Um, But I, I ordered it. Oh, and no coconut. No coconut. I don't like coconut. I ordered it on the way um, here so it could be ready by the time I get here. I'm going to grab this, go back home. And then we're going to get our work day started. my 
acai bowl. I just get the acai with blueberry. They were a little stingy with the blueberries look this time. But I get blueberry, pineapple, kiwi, and granola. And in my acai base, I get just, um, I just have them mix it with apple juice. So if you're in Jacksonville, Florida Juice and Bowl on Hendrix, no, on San Marco, try them out. Hi, Lex for Less family. All right, I wanted to do a quick trial haul with you guys of some of the things that I've purchased from Target from one of their past Future Collective collections. And then um, an item that I purchased from Express. Now, I didn't show this item to you all in my last Express video because I wanted to get it and make sure I liked it first before I showed it to you all. I do believe it is on sale. Today is Friday, June 21st. Express is having a sale. So I think by the time this video comes out, the sale should still be going on. So you'll be able to get the piece if you like it. But let me show you what I got. All right, now this is one of the sets that I purchased from the Future Collective brand. This is by Alani Noel. This is the two piece set that she had where it had the shorts and then it had the blazer with the cutout sides and then the cutout in the back. This set also came in green. I actually wanted it in green, but they did not have the um, bottoms nor the jacket in my size. The jacket that they did have was too big and the bottoms that they had were way too small, like size four child, and I am size four nowhere. But this is the two piece set that she has. I really do like this. I almost took this back because I just felt like I wasn't gonna wear it in the summertime which I'm definitely not gonna wear in the summertime because it's too hot. However, in the winter time, you can definitely still wear this. I live in Florida, so we have cool weather, not necessarily cold weather. I can still wear this in the winter time with a pair of boots. Um, it's a two piece set, so I can break it up and wear the jacket separately. These are just the shorts. They have a zip front with the two fish hooks here and then one button. And I got the shorts in a size 12 because the 14s were a little bit too big. So I got them in a 12 and they fit, you know, pretty, pretty good. And you can see I'm just wearing a black bra underneath, which I can wear just like this if I want, or if I wanted to wear it with a lace bra, I definitely could. The blazer has two buttons right here. But this is the first set that I got from Target. Again, this is from the Future Collective collection by the designer Alani Noel. All right, this is another set that was also included in that Future Collective collection. This is a two-piece set. This is the top, and it has like a little keyhole opening right here. And these are the pants. These are wide leg. It feels like it may be like a linen cotton blend, more cotton, less linen, but I can definitely tell that there is some linen in it. Um, this top is a little bit more cropped than it, <laughs> than it really looks because you all know I don't wear truly cropped crop items, but um, it has an elastic, it's elastic in the back, and then it has the puff sleeves that you can wear on or off the shoulder that has the gathering around the midsection of the arm. Really cute suit. You can break this up and wear this with a pair of jeans or jean shorts or a skirt. You can break this up and wear this with a regular top. It does come with a tie. I don't necessarily like the, the belt with it because it kind of gets lost, like as you can see right there. But um, I do believe that this is now on sale at Target. If it's still available, I'll link it. Um, but yeah, I got this from Target and it's Alani Noel, a part of the Future Collective collection. All right, next I wanna show you this jumpsuit that I got from Express. This is a lace jumpsuit. Y'all remember those lace pants I got from Express? This is the same material. It's just in a jumpsuit form. It has shorts right here so that you're not exposed, but the rest of it is definitely lace. This is really, really, really cute. Um, I did not show this to you all, like I said, when I was in Express because I wanted to order it and make sure I liked it first <laughs> before I showed it to you all. But this is a perfect jumpsuit for any occasion. Definitely can be worn to a party. You know I mean, you can't wear it to the office or you can't wear it to church or nothing like that. But anywhere outside of that, you can definitely wear this. If you were, live in a warmer climate like I do, 
you could probably wear this year round. The regular price for this jumpsuit was $168, but I do believe I got it on sale. I had a coupon, so I paid $108 for this jumpsuit. Y'all know that is a little bit more than I kind of like to spend on one piece, but if it's a piece that I really like, I will go ahead and invest in it. I will have this link below, but got this from Express. All right, you guys, that is all I wanted to show you. I'm getting ready to wrap up my workday. I'll see you guys later. Good morning, Lux with Less family. Today is Saturday, July 22nd. It is 9, 17 a.m. Y'all already know what I'm getting ready to go and do. I'm going to get my donut. Every Saturday, we get a donut. After I get my donut, I'm going to get my hair done. It's hair salon day. Shouldn't be there too long. My appointment time is 10.30, so I'll probably be done by 12. I don't know, I'm getting my hair colored today, so it may be, it may take a little bit longer than um, her normal time that she does my hair. But um, after that, I don't really have anything else going on today, y'all. Y'all know I'm still in my no thrift um, July, so that cuts out about three hours of my of my time right there but i truly and honestly don't have anything else going on y'all y'all might hear or you might even be able to see a sh that chandelier that came from out of my foyer i was supposed to take it to goodwill and i'm just not i'm just i'm just not um i'm just not Like a beauty queen from a movie scene. I said, Don't mind, but what do you mean? I am the one that could dance on the floor and around. She said, I am the one. But the chair is not my son. She says, I am the one. Alright, y'all. I got my donut. I got the guava cream cheese layered donut. And then I tried something new. Y'all know I normally get matcha lemonade. Today I got lavender lemonade with um, lavender pea flower lemonade. I just wanted to try it to see if I would like it. It's 9.42. I'm now here to get my hair done. So I'll see y'all. <laughs> I'm done with my hair, y'all. It is 12.43, so it took her two hours and 13 minutes. I'm here to get me in the midst of something to eat, and then I probably will be in for the day. So, see y'all later. All right, Lux for Less family, it's still Saturday. I'm here in the Oak Leaf Town Center. If you're in Jacksonville, you know exactly where that is. When I left home, it was sun shining. The birds were chirping, and now you can see it is raining. I'm going to this place called Red Bowl. I want to get a, is it, is, how do y'all say it? Is it pronounced Poke Bowl or Poke Bowl or Poke Bowl? Child? I don't know. I think it's called Poke Bowl. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, I'm here at this place called Red Bowl to get one. And then I'm going to go back home. It's 511. Um, I told y'all last week that I'm trying not to you know spend unnecessary money because we're going on a trip in a couple weeks and i would rather save that money to spend on the trip y'all know how that is anyway let's go ahead and get my food and then i'll see you guys back at home All right, Lunch for Less family, here is my food. I got a poke bowl with spicy salmon, crab, cucumber, avocado, cream cheese, and white sushi rice. And then I got a dynamite roll. And then for the bowl and the sushi, they gave me shrimp sauce and eel sauce. So this is going to be my dinner for tonight. All right, y'all, I'm about to try to set up these... Um, 
these air tags. Let me see what the instructions say. Why do you gotta make them like this little? Who can see that? Like for real. Let me see. All right, well, these are not the instructions. These are the battery replacement instructions. So I don't guess we need instructions, child. So let's see. Okay, it says, oh, here are instructions. Step one, update to the latest iOS or iPad OS. Turn on Bluetooth. All right. All right, my Bluetooth is on. Step two. It says, pull tab when ready to use, hold near device, and follow on-screen instructions. All right, so. Pull tab. Mm, you see how little they are. So, making it a little difficult to handle okay there we go all right did you hear that okay so i'm guessing you just Put it in this way. How many people does it take to screw in a light bulb? Like this, this is what I'm feeling right now. All right, so here we go. All right, here we are setting up the AirTag. I just selected what I was going to be using it for. I selected luggage. Then I agreed to all the terms and conditions. Basically, don't track nobody but you and your own stuff. Waited for it to connect, and we're done. All right, the setup of that was very, very easy. It was definitely an ABC123 type of instruction. I'm not going to set the other ones up until we're able to... Uh, until we're ready to use them. I just wanted to get a head start to see if it was anything... A little bit more involved than what it was but apple is usually always pretty straightforward so but that is going to be it for this week's vlog you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me if you haven't already be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye y'all